My name is Marcel Hoogstead Hay. I'm an Adelaide based artist working with hot glass. I started working with glass about 15 years ago at the ANU School of Art and Design in Canberra. Uh, in 2013, I moved to Adelaide to undertake the associate program at Jam Factory. And once I finished the jam, I spent a few years kind of traveling around and living in different places in Australia and overseas, doing residencies, uh, doing a lot of assisting and working in different studios. And I moved back to Adelaide in about 2019, where I've been there ever since. So I was first drawn to glass because of the tactility of the material. And I think a lot of those material qualities come through in this body of work. The pieces I've made, I think they're fluid, they're soft, they're hard, they're transparent, they're opaque, and they're reflective. So I really love the material and I really love the process. It's a really challenging material to work with and I think that whenever I try and make anything a bit bigger or more complex or ambitious, uh, I run into a lot of technical challenges and have to do a lot of problem solving. And I think that's when I'm really grateful to have the community that we have. Really supportive community and I think we lean on each other a lot. Most of the works in this show were made with a team of about three or four people. I'm interested in the ways that we perceive the world. For the work that I've made for this show, I'm referencing things that happen at different scales. So the quantum scale, which is the smallest indivisible scale, but also that huge astronomical scale. My interest in these scales is because I think they're things that we don't really tend to think about very much or perceive very much. We see the sun and the moon and the stars and the curvature of the earth, but generally I don't think we really think about or perceive those scales much. But we are a part of them and we exist in them and they exist in us. I use cane work patterns to allude to how things might appear at a quantum scale. But I'm also referencing the paths that we take as we move through the world. The amorphous mirrored forms that I make are engaging because you see yourself in them, but what you're looking at is a distorted image. These works are literally self-reflective and I hope that they give people an opportunity to think about how and where they situate themselves in the universe. I start by stretching out coloured glass into fine threads or canes. I usually do this about twice to get the complexity and quality of line that I'm after. Once I've made the canes, I cut them up and arrange them into patterns or compositions, and then I take them into the hot shop. Once they're in the hot shop, I roll them up onto the outside of a bubble of hot glass. And then I melt those in and gather more clear glass over the top. Once I have all the glass I need, I, I'm able to sculpt them into the kind of amorphous forms. Once the glass is cold, I take it into the cold shop where I cut and grind it to make sure that they sit nicely. And then I start the mirroring process. To mirror these forms, I coat the inside of the glass with a layer of tin and then a layer of silver which bonds to the tin. So when you're looking at that reflective surface in these pieces, what you're looking at is a micron thin layer of silver on the inside of the glass. Some of the pieces in this show are painted and that's just a super matte acrylic paint that I've painted on the inside of the vessels. This residency has been a huge opportunity for me. It's given me a huge amount of time and access to the facilities at Jam Factory, but also a team to work with and a studio space. And all that's meant that I've been able to scale up the size and the complexity of my work. But it's also meant that I've been able to experiment and take risks and be really ambitious.